I start a new recording. Okay, next. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm uh, just confirming with this next person. Hmm. Um. <laughs> One. More. Okay. I'm gonna try someone else. Uh. Is this person ready? Alright, let's try this one. Hey! Whoa! There's a lot of background noise with that one. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it is going well, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Hello, person who I've never met before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's a great video effect there. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I'm not really sure what to ask. Do you have any questions for me? Of course, of course. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, say introduce yourself to the crowd. All right, everybody. Uh, my name is Eric. I'm from upstate New York, basically by Canada. I have my own uh, upstate course show called Shishu Chosan, if that uh, rings any bells. Uh, I've, I'm a huge fan of Sasuke, and uh, I don't know if that's about it, I, I guess. Yeah, okay. Um, you're, you're not, the, correct me if I'm wrong, you're not the biggest poster on the forums, are you? Uh, which, like, the, the Sas Sas Sasuke Sasuke yeah. being I probably have posted two or three times. <laughs> yeah, okay. You you probably saw it through, through Facebook about this, didn't you? Yes. Um... Yeah, I, on the forum, I would be considered a Yasuo Aoki member. Okay. Uh, so I'm not big into that, um, but yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do know. I do. We we know each other personally uh, through the various internet things that we've uh, done. Um, so. That sounds kind of bad, almost. Yeah. Um, anyway. Through, through the old Sasuke, uh, Sasuke Studio 29 connection, which doesn't exist anymore. It still should, though. It should. Yeah, ben Kurt, this one. Yeah, no, it's definitely his fault. Because <laughs> yeah. it was his website, and he shut it down. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I guess, um, obstacle-wise, um, you actually you actually have, like, sort of, uh, you have, like, replicas of actual obstacles at your house, of the new obstacles that we've seen, which one would you want to build, uh, build the most? Um, well, I guess the obstacle that I'm concerned the most about, like something, if I was to try Sasuke, I would be concerned that I would fail it, would be uh, the cannonball run, or no, the spin bridge, as it's called on Sasuke. Right, right. Um, I just, I feel like I would make some error in the steps, and it would I would just get hurled downward into the water. So my budget, I think, is not very suitable for a spin bridge, but that would be something <laughs> that I would have to build. Well, the spin bridge doesn't look that hard to make. You just need a couple of giant balls and some rope. What could possibly be so hard about that? Well, I don't know. The rolling escargot, I think I figured out the technique. They don't have one. Yeah. So, oh, I'm getting an ad on the other thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right. So You can still hear me, right? Yeah, I can still hear you. All right, good. Kind of annoying. Anyway, but yeah, that's the obstacle I would like to build. All right, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, what was your first uh, Sasuke competition? Um, my first one was from 2004, the 13th. Uh, my brothers were watching this show on G4. It was probably the spring of 2007 when I saw it, and they said it was really cool. There was there was a Japanese game show. Um, if you remember correctly, that was the one where the jump hang had, like, the hanging ropes instead of the cargo net. Yes, yes. So, actually, the next one I saw, the, yeah, the regular jump hang was unfamiliar to me. <laughs> because I was like, whoa, that's different. But that's actually the opposite. Anyway, um, 
they showed me that. It was probably like noon that day, and I just kept watching it for the entire rest of the day because I got hooked immediately. And uh, uh, the older competitors, uh, I thought, were very entertaining. The Octopus guy um, and the guy, I can't remember his name, but he was like a 57-year-old gymnast. Um, the subtitle during his run entertained me. The, his lustrous silver mane glints in the sunlight. Yes, yes, I remember that. that. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, Nagano made it to the finals and did not win again. Yeah. But yeah, that was my first. <laughs> that must have been that must have been really weird knowing that you saw the one uh, version of the jump hang that um, was the abnormal one. I wonder yeah, why. They, you, wonder why they never stuck with that one. I liked it. Um, I don't know. I think the thing with that one was you could clear it in three seconds because some people just grab the ropes thrusted their lower body forward and just landed on the mat like that. I know Nagano did it, and a couple other guys did too. Yeah, that's that's probably it's probably a good one. That's, I mean, that's probably a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. But for um, those for those of you who don't know, um, there was one there was one uh, version of the jump hang where instead of a net, it was uh, dangling uh, ropes. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's a, that's that sounds like a very uh, good ex. Uh, reasoning. Yeah, and uh, the next the next week I was in sixth grade at the time, and uh, I was just owning that playground in recess, trying everything I could because I, I wanted to be like the Ninja Warriors. Oh, I yeah. I can totally relate. Except I um, was way except I was no longer um, at a school that had a playground, so I just went to different playgrounds. Who is that man, Daddy? Why are you doing I, all the things I want to I do? I waited until no one else was there. That, that almost seems more disturbing. Uh, if you're just sitting in the parking lot with the window rolled down, hey, you will leave now? Yeah. Yeah. I digress. Maybe. Um, so, what would you say is the, um, whose run are you looking forward to the most this time? Um, I would have to say, I'm just, nobody else has said this so far, but if you remember correctly, every time Yamamoto has not worn his uniform, he does poorly, and in this one, he is not wearing his uniform. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he can break that streak. I mean, he's only done it twice, and it was like, the first, it was the first one and the fourth one, but it should be interesting seeing how well he does. Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting. I gotta say, with Sasuke four when he was wearing that white shirt, that was just because that was one of the last uh, Sasuke's I've seen. So just seeing him in a white shirt was just so weird out of uniform. Yeah, I, I agree. It was really out of place. Hang on a second, my dad's down here wondering what I'm doing. Um, talking to a guy uh, who's streaming this video about Sasuke. Yeah. Okay, that's take care. Of. <laughs> Good, he's gone. No, okay. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so, um, w looking at the crazy cliffhanger, do you think that um that version would be looks easier or harder than the ultimate cliffhanger? I would have to say easier because uh, there's a lot less ledges. There's a lot fewer ledges. Um, I don't know about the obstacles before the new cliffhanger, if um, they would get you more tired than the obstacles before the ultimate cliffhanger, because in the 27th tournament, there weren't many challenging obstacles before the ultimate cliffhanger that would really zap your upper body strength beforehand. True. Um, so depending on how strong you are when you get to that obstacle, I, I think that would make a difference. As far as the jump, I... I don't know. I've never. I haven't tried it. I just saw that obstacle today. I just saw the Navi today. So, I, I I am not familiar with the process of making that reverse jump like the spider foot, but with the cliffhanger. So I don't know. It'd be interesting. Um, uh, the the curtain clang is uh, much later in the third stage now than it ever was. Um, when it was in the uh, when it was in Sasuke. Do you think um, that alone would make the obstacle a lot harder? 
I actually did not know that. Thank you for informing me. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, Curtin Kling's back. I, 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 to my understanding, unless someone in the chat corrects me. If, uh, has it been modified in any way, or is it like the one that was from thirteen through seven? It looks like it's the same thing. Okay. Um. Geez, I don't know because when it was when it was first there, it was immediately after the the body prop, which is already Correct. a strength snapper. So I'm not sure if. Um, well, now it's after the cliffhanger. Okay, I, I would for the for the curtain cling, as long as there's adhesive spray available, which there always is. I don't think it should be that much of a challenge, even if it's after the cliffhanger. Okay. I guess. Because it's not the only, the only people that have failed it are Kobayashi, uh, Morgan Hom, and Yamamoto. Right. Yes. Um, you know, even though it doesn't have the highest failure rate, it still just looks really cool seeing like someone climb across a curtain. My mom compares it to cats. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sounds like a very reasonable uh, comparison. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to it. Um, is there? Uh, what are your? Th uh, what would you say is your thoughts on the fact that there's now a a, a swimming tank in stage two? Um, well, I posted in the comment box earlier, I don't know if you saw it, where it's Probably basically, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's, uh, I feel like it's basically just the reverse conveyor in liquid form, and so it's going to be a time waster, some people are going to be able to do it faster than others, so, I, mean, I like time wasters, I don't know how much, like, it not only is it going to be a time waster, but it will also be a strength sapper, because you have to swim really fast, for those of you who don't swim often, um, it does take a lot of energy away from you when it gets you really winded. Um, so I like the obstacle. I ha again, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anybody do it yet, but I am excited to see how challenging it actually is. Yeah, yeah. That um, I, I think we're all interested in seeing it, regardless of our opinions of it. I think that's a, a fair thing to say. Um, I'm just wondering if. You know, like I wonder if that would affect them in stage uh, three at all for the people who do pass because they have to have a change of clothes and all that. That's true. Um, the change of that's an interesting point. I I don't know exactly how long of a break you get between stage two and stage three. Does anybody know that off the top of your head? I don't have the chat box open right now. So. I think I think it it depends largely on um, like setting up and stuff. I'm not. I'm not entirely familiar with it myself. Um, um but I, I would say that the length of time between stages would have a greater impact than um, your change of clothes. Okay. Um, apparently, it's a half hour setup, and then the amount of time that you wait in between uh, stages depends on how many people running and stuff. Right. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds all very fair. It's 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 a very, you know, it's still weird thinking that you know there's a swimming obstacle in Sasuke now, but still, it's, you know, it's different. It makes it makes sense to me with in the you know rules and stuff. Yeah, um, I I guess the only way you, you could fail that obstacle would to run out of time then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's not going to be anybody who just can't swim because that. Yeah. Uh, well, you would think. You would think. Uh, we, I mean, there could be, it could be um, some additional rules. We don't know. I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm assuming right now there aren't, but I could be wrong. Again, well, that's just one thing. We'll just have to wait and see. Exactly. But, um, yeah. Like I said earlier, if Nagano was to reach this obstacle, he would just get his ship and <laughs> sail across, you know, full throttle all the way through. Maybe he'll even catch some fish on the way. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good point. Um, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess the last question before I, I cut you loose is, um, how much, I think, of all the people who do their own home, um, Sasuke obstacle course thing, um, I personally think you do it the best as far as like 
presentation as far as like course and uh, just the sheer number of people wise. Oh, thank you. Um, how, how diff? Because I mean, the most amount of people I've ever had was eleven, um, and one competition. You have already beaten me with the with the with the ones we, that we've seen. Um, how challenging is it to do like a larger scale like home um, Sasuke course like that? The main thing that I have to worry about when I have a large number of people coming for Sasuke or Shishu Chosen is um, food, really. <laughs> My mom is concerned about whether or not we have enough uh, sausages or burgers or whatever and condiments and all that stuff if everybody's bringing a snack or how that whole process is going to work. But for uh, the actual recording of the tournament, it's pretty much all in the same format. We just um, we have uh, the same amount of tape. The Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah. I heard, the last thing I heard was same amount of tape. Okay. Um, yeah, well, like, we use the same equipment, and it's not that much different. Uh, I guess if we have 10 people or if we have uh, 25 for the next one, which is going to be my last one, then I'm going to film the 10th, by the way. I'm that far behind. Um, I'm looking to have around 40 so wow wow we'll see we'll see by the way the first stage is pretty much the same i haven't changed much at all um but that's a different story i will parking is going to be an issue i think too i'm going to have to make people carpool because my driveway is not that big well uh, 40 people that's that's a bunch of cars yeah yeah winning too is now an issue too because we film at night now um but Everything, it's just it's treated more like a party than an event. I would say. Right, that's that's Maybe. always that's always good. It's more fun when everyone's having fun. I've I've found. Yeah, you could you could ask Kyle about that too, and he could tell you all the fun we have. I I release some extra videos sometimes of some of the other stuff that goes on during tournaments. It's yeah. definitely a lot of fun. All right. Well, um, thank you, thank you for calling. I uh, I personally I look forward to whenever you edit um your other videos yeah i'm actually working on the sevens right now as we speak oh that's good all right so thank you for calling thank you for being part of the show and thank you for having me uh no problem um jagger wants to know if you're going to do american ninja warrior 5 uh well right now i am 17 i will be 18 in a few months so Ooh, so no. you got a while to wait Yes, I've been waiting since I was 12, and mm. I will still have to wait for another three years. Well, hopefully, I hope I hope the show lasts long enough for you to make it. Oh, I do too. It would be such a waste if it doesn't. Um, there's a suggestion for you to try Alpha Warrior if it is in your area. I did uh, search that yesterday, actually, and closest they get to me is Newark. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, you know exactly where Newark is and exactly where I am. Yeah. Um, that's like a six, seven hour drive. Uh, I told <laughs> yeah. them to come, like, they're not going to come to where I live, but I told them to come to a city that's a little closer, like Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, or Ottawa, if they want to go to Canada, which would be really nice for me. But, um, yeah, I, I just hope that they come a little closer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely understandable. If um, you couldn't, yeah, not, yeah, six hours is not fun. I know you've invited me to be on your show, but I have the same problem: a six-hour drive, um, and it's not even like I can take a train um, there because there's no train station near you either. Oh, you can go to uh, there's a, an Amtrak station in Syracuse. That's only one hour away. Oh yeah, but then how do I get to you <laughs> from the train station? We we could have that arranged. Yeah, we could. Uh, that's that's the conversation for another time. If you come with that beard, we would gladly have you. Uh, well, we'll have to see. Um, all right. So, thank thank you for being part of the show. Um, enjoy enjoy Sasuke next week. Oh, I will definitely. And thank you for having me again. Uh, no problem. Good. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh, so that was fun. Um, uh, for those of you who uh, don't know. Uh, for, for those of you who uh, weren't listening, um, he ha Eric has his own show called Shishu Choshin on his uh, YouTube channel uh, Capitano16, if I remember uh, correctly. Uh, go check it out. It's really good stuff. Um, 
it's uh he he easily has the best um designed obstacles of anyone who has actually done um home ninja warrior courses although that might change if david campbell ever releases his death sasuke tournament that he uh recorded um all right we're looking f i think i think i know who should be next i'm gonna send him send a quick uh message to make sure all right all right we got our next person ready Hello? Hello! Hold on, hold on, um... Okay, sorry, I had to, uh, mute the stream. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Mm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is... Oh, jeez. Trying to fiddle with my computer. Alright. Uh, ah, here we go. Alright. Everything is all figured out now. Yay! Yay. Alright, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is RC. Yay! Hey, RC, how's it going? It is going great. That's good. Are you excited for Sasuke? Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Are you, uh, I, I, I'm not going to sleep for the next four days. <laughs> no, that's... You don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to stay up that late. <laughs> well... <laughs> you gotta, there's, there's a holiday in between. You can sleep before then. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, I get Christmas in between, at least. Yeah. It be yeah. a late Christmas present for me. Yeah, that's, 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 that's how I see it. I, 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 I remember saying on Twitter, um, that, uh, I was legit more excited for Sasuke than Christmas. That, that is, uh, huh. Sasuke or Christmas? <laughs> hmm. That, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's okay. You don't have to answer it. Okay, uh, by the way, for those of you in the uh, chat who may not have known me before 2011 when I changed my username, um, I'm currently on the forums as that one user. It it was sort of a joke because, like, back in, like, 2010, there was a bunch of stupid stuff going on, and... Uh, I, I was just really immature about things, That's so it, that was like the joke. That was that one user, from. and nobody has ever gotten it in the two years since then. So, I okay for the record, they, I they I I got right. it. I just never acknowledged it. So, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. So. What 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 was your first uh, Sasuke competition that you watched, whether it be Ninja Warrior or Sasuke? Well, actually, actually, my first uh, competition was Viking. Oh, okay. yes, yes. Um, I was surfing through the channels one day and came across something called Viking: The Ultimate Obstacle Course on uh, ESPN Two, and I'm like, "Huh, this sounds pretty interesting." So I went through and watched it, and I made sure to DVR all six episodes. I actually have those six episodes on DVD in the last, like, three years I've been meaning to upload. Oh. So uh, eventually, I promise, I will get those to you. Um, all right, that'd be cool. Um, so... So what was I, your what was the first Sasuke tournament that you watched though specifically? Well, it's hard to say because and in, uh, in Viking Two, that was the one they showed on ESPN mostly. Yes, was uh, it was when Makoto Nagano made the final Viking. Right. right. It was just wow, this guy is just so incredible, and so I went online searching for him, and it said. Makoto Nagano is also the second ever person to beat Ninja Warrior. I'm like, what is this Ninja Warrior? Mm. So, did another Google search. Um, actually found the clip of him beating the final stage. I'm like, oh my god, they climb upwards? <laughs> um, so I wound up watching his uh, full run on YouTube. Like, the, the one that floats around. Yeah, the time. yeah. I, st I, I still watch it every now and then. 
I think my first was like 10 on G4. And so every time I'm watching through to see, oh, is this the one where he beats it? <laughs> and eventually he did beat it. And I, I was hooked. So um, my, my first live Sasuke, though, was uh, 23. Because I, like, 23 was the first one where I knew about Sasuke that it was on a, on a, uh, on a weekend. Because every other day it was on a school day. Right, right. Um, so, like, all the other ones I had to read uh, Lost in Newbies, uh blog, sort of live blog. Uh, I remember in 19... 19, the blog came out one day at the end of school. And I, I was reading it um, in the computer lab after school. And I'm just reading through, I'm like, oh my god, only two people? Okay, now I'm going to clear. And then, it, and then it, I read that he failed the, uh, the flying shoot. And I just let out the biggest, no, scream. And everyone starts looking at me. <laughs> um, I, and that, yeah, so... Um, I, I wanted to watch some of them live, but 23 was the first that I could not have watched every other one since live. I'm definitely looking forward to watching this one live. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and personally speaking, I don't know if I'll be able to watch the whole thing live, give based because I have to work, unlike people who have school still. Oh, work. Like, work. <laughs> Um, I'm consider I'm considering. Um, <laughs> but but yeah. Um, either way, it's going to be fun to watch. And if I you know if I don't end up watching the whole thing live, I'm going to be avoiding the forms until I can get uh, till I can watch the whole thing. Uh, dude, it's done at six a.m. All right, never mind. Then I'll probably be able to watch it all as long as I wake up. Then. Um. So. Whose run are you uh, looking forward to the most? Well, huh. I am definitely looking forward to seeing the All Stars. Obviously, oh um, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I'm kind of worried about uh, Akiyama on the uh, new Jump Hang Kai. Him, him being only five two and it being night time, um, I think he's gonna have a lot of trouble on that. Yeah, so, definitely. Clear that one. Yeah. Uh, Yamamoto, I, I think he's I think he might have some trouble on that too. I know he's had a lot of trouble on a lot of the first stage obstacles that are on the corpse in the past, so I'll be looking forward to see if he can clear stage one again. To kick that, I, I think he can or talk it, excuse me. Um I think he can clear stage one and hopefully stage two. Um but stage three I don't think anyone can physically clear the crazy cliffhanger in this tournament. Mm. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, well, there goes Takeda's chances of ever making the final stage. Well, y'all know there was that one rumor. I, I, I'm not sure if you saw it because it was in spoiler tags. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm not going to mention it on the air, of course. Oh, okay, I'll okay. I'll probably send you a message asking if you saw it, but there was a, a, a certain person that gave a certain piece of information about Yamada. Oh, um, I've heard things. about that. Um, I, I heard that that was an unconfirmed, um, disproven um, rumor. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's unconfirmed, but I, I, I sort of want to believe it. Let's, let's, not go, let's not go too far into that, just in case. Um, but... I, I think I think a lot of us would like to see Yamada like finally beat the first stage since this is his last time. That's it. Like the, the jumping spider is gone. He he did really well on the jump hang all those years. Um, uh, I think there's enough time on the course because really Yamada's enemy has just been going too slow. Yeah, he has been slow in the past. Um, he has a. How many times? In a, how many times has he failed on the final obstacle of stage one? I've lost track. <laughs> I want to say five or six. 
I'm going to look that up for you right now, because now I'm curious. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what, sorry, what? I know he's timed that at least ten times. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Mm. Only three, it says. Yeah, yeah. It looks like, looks like it was only three times. They spelled the warped wall so many times. Yeah, that's true. Um, actually, um, qu quick question: um, Is the warped wall the the bigger version? Um, the last obstacle before the Tarzan rope into the net climb? Yes. Okay. Um, I really like that. Uh, and it actually it has actually has something has uh, to deal with Yamada also. It's just I like the idea of the warped wall being the obstacle right before the last obstacle was it essentially the last obstacle. Because um, that way, if um, someone beats it, they there's still like a rush for them to beat the clock that they could still conceivably beat it. Right. I think I think uh, Inui sort of wanted to go back to his old courses. You know, they had a lot shorter first stages. And I, honestly, the more I look at these obstacles, the more I'm starting to really like them. Like, I was really iffy about the uh, the backstream. I was really iffy about the double warp ball, but now I'm actually really liking it. So. Yeah, it definitely feels like a more compact course. But I think, I think part of that might just because for a long time now we've had the jumping spider and yeah. the half-pipe attack, which are both very large obstacles. They sort of had to get rid of the half pipe attack because of what happened in Drew last tournament. Yeah, yeah, um, but it, it, what also I think like the whole like it making it look shorter is partially just because that's gone because the just the the size of the water pit alone was huge. Uh, yeah, that that was a pretty large water pit, but for a single of... obstacle, that is a that was a big water pit. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then again, it, it sort of had the same length as the metal spin, I think. Yeah, but uh, that that one, I don't know, it's kind of weird because, like, the, that pit is, like, multiple obstacles in the same water pit. It's weird how they do that to me. Um, actually, one weird thing I noticed about the obstacles were uh, um, how many third-stage obstacles, especially, um are going right to left in this tournament. Because, like, generally on the cliffhanger, you go left to right. Like, yeah. I always seem that I have no problems, you know, if I'm crossing a bar or something. Right, right. Going right is really easy. Now, this may just be me being right-handed, but going going left to right is really easy, but right to left is a lot more difficult. And I think it's going to be really interesting seeing, especially the last ledge of the crazy cliffhanger and... Um, to my knowledge, the curtain cling going right to left. So I think that we... The way it, the curtain cling looked, it looked like it was on the other side that it was in the 13 to 17. So I think they're going to have to cross it the other way, which could be really interesting if somebody gets there. Yeah. All right. That, that'd be... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. But I think with the, in regards to the cliffhanger, I think you do bring up a get very good point that I... Yeah, you know, I didn't even think of. I mean, there was there's a small part in the ultimate cliffhanger where you were going, um, you know, right to left, but it was very fairly easy to skip a majority of that. But with this new crazy cliffhanger part, you have to go um, right to left. So that yeah. that's a very interesting point. Exactly. Um. Eric, uh, the the old Skywalk walk was like that. The problem is no one made it that far. Yeah, I, I wish they would have kept it instead of the swing ladder. Because let's face it, the swing ladder was just a complete waste of an obstacle. I think... I No, I, I get what you're saying. I think it would have been better if it was in an older Sasuke tournament where time was more of an issue in the, in the second stage. Well, because Eric wasn't there. <laughs> Eric, I, I have no doubt that if you made it to Sasuke 19, you would have made it to the Skyboard. Uh, yeah, no, it's just like, I mean, the swing ladder, like, I never had anything against it personally. I just, apparently this is personal now, um, 
Now it's just like it's just the salmon ladder was an obstacle where they added a lot more time to the clock for stage two. It always has been. So if they finish the salmon ladder quickly, you know it's it's basically a nothing obstacle. But if it was in an old the older um, Sasuke's, I feel like you know with the the whole spider walk and stuff, I feel like it would be um, it would have had a bigger impact on time just because you it would have been more of a race against the clock. Personally, that's what I think. That is a good point. Like, maybe if they put it last instead of the wall lifting, it would have been cool. But, like, just in the middle of stage two, where, you know, you, we've, we've seen a lot of obstacles like the Blade of the Unstable Bridge and uh, the Balance Tank, you know, a lot of these obstacles you know, that, that have been really challenging and exciting, and just to see a pair of monkey bars. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was just, I mean,. You know, it, at least it wasn't like poorly designed, as far as like inhibiting, um, you know, people's progress. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, I liked the shoulder walk when it was in Viking, but as a because that was a first obstacle. Uh, Eric uh, Jet uh, made a point in the in the chat. Uh, I don't think the shoulder walk works as a uh, final uh, obstacle in stage two, though. A rotating wall lifting. Now, now that would be fun. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I've always thought that maybe they should try making uh, the wall lift harder by having a conveyor belt underneath the walls. But yeah. that would probably be a safety issue. Hold, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. My dad says hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Well, maybe I do want to kill everyone, Arsenet. Have you ever considered that? I don't think he can see you. No, I, I can't. He's trying to wave to you, but I'm not on video. Yeah. I can, I'll imagine the wave. Okay. My, my dad right, is waving. Ahead. I won't. I won't. Anyway, um, what else have we been talking about? Um, oh, here's here's a question I haven't asked recently. So, uh, one of the things that we've noticed with uh, this new Sasuke is that um, is that there are obstacles that are coming back. Um, yeah. Is there any um, obstacle from older from uh, pre Shin Sasuke that you uh, would like to you know, maybe to make a return with this new Sasuke Rising era? That's a good question. Hmm. I I hope the pipe slider is back at least. It, it looks like it is back. So uh, I'm happy about that, especially all the attention it got at a uh, Bustle Park. I I enjoy the pipe slider as a as an obstacle as a as a viewer. I enjoy the pipe slider. Part is the one at Muscle Park was that that I think that'll be interesting. Uh. You know what was kind of fun for a little while was the uh, the balance bridge in the first couple of competitions. Uh oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah that um that turned into the bridge of blades right. Uh. Eventually. Yeah, I I think the bridge of blades would kind of be cool too, except they totally ruined it with the uh, X bridge in twenty four. Yeah, it's amazing how big a difference that bar makes. I think Sony made it motivated at it too. Yeah, uh, that'd be writer, I believe. <laughs> Probably was. Yeah, if if there's a demotivator on the uh, forums, there's like a fifty, at least a fifty percent chance it was writer. Yeah, my favorite demotivator is still the one with 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 the guy who fails the. It, it was a Kiki rules who made this, I think. Um. It's a guy failing the steps, and and, a sh and he photoshopped a shark eating him. Ah, uh, yeah, that was funny. Oh, that was that was actually. Uh... Yeah, I've seen a few other um, uh, American Ninja Warrior competitors pass that image along. That that was uh, that was good. Really well done. I wonder if that inspired uh, those series of commercials that uh, G4 did where they um, 
photoshopped like sharks into like the actual Sasuke footage. I thought the one with the uh, I know there were there three, but my favorite was the one where they moved the button. Yeah, I vaguely remember that one. But yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, the button moving. Yeah, yeah. Some, yes, that was... I remember that one. <laughs> and, and the girl... It was in uh, Kunoichi 3. And the girl's just slamming the button because she timed out. And just keeps moving left and right. I thought that was kind of funny. Right, yes, yes, that is... I remember that. That was That was cool. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So we want to get some more people in this. It's uh. So, wow. We've, story real quick. Uh, make it quick, cause you've already been talking. We've already been talking together for twenty minutes, apparently. My God. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I, I super quick. Do a uh, uh, a ninja warrior tournament esque in my backyard. Uh, a while like. It took forever, because I had tried so many times. Eventually, I got, like, three people. Yeah. And we were gonna... So, I had this one really tall friend. He basically beat my first stage in, like, 30 seconds. And it was supposed to be, like, a really long first stage. I just remember being so mad. And the, the second kid came up. Um, but one of the obstacles is you have, like, I had, like, a picket fence. And you had to climb over it. And he just reached, couldn't do it, and just walked through the gates. And we just all lost it. <laughs> um, so that was the end of that. But I am working on something at my uh, college now. So it, I don't want to spoil too much. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep, it, keep it a surprise. Keep it a surprise. I, I think you guys will really like it. All right. Well, I, I'll, I'll look forward to it. Make sure you, uh, you post it on the forums and all that stuff. For sure. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for being on the show. Well, had a blast. Was, oh yeah, it was very nice talking to you. Um, and enjoy um, Sasuke Twenty Seven next week, or Sasuke Twenty Eight, whatever, whatever the hell we're up to. Yeah, now I'm a freshman in college. Yeah. Hey. All right. Um, thank you for uh, thank you for joining us, and um, have a nice night. You too. All right, that was fun. Um. Yeah, yeah, Sasuke rising, Sasuke rising, not Sasuke 28. It's 28 to us. <laughs>